All right, Julie, thank you. Well, the Director of National Intelligence, Dennis Blair, is out after just 16 months in the post. Blair resigned last week following a series of intelligence failures, including the Fort Hood massacre, Christmas Day bombing, and also the recent car attempt in Times Square. Joining us now with more on Blair's resignation is the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Sylvester Reyes, and the ranking Republican on the committee, Congressman Pete Hoekstra. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Glad to be here. Good, thank you. Congressman Reyes, I'll start with you. This job of being the Director of National Intelligence, is it set up in a way that anybody could succeed in that post? Well, I, I think uh, after three directors and a span of four years, I think maybe we need to relook at the uh, uh, at the job description, in particular the uh, the way that it's structured and and the way that uh, it's supposed to function uh, as the lead coordinator for intelligence uh, and lead integrator for intelligence. So we we may have some work ahead of us uh, in the next uh, year or so. Congressman Hoekstra, do you think that uh, former director Blair is paying the price or being a scapegoat for uh, these failures or these issues that have come up in the last 16 months? I mean, were his hands tied as far as trying to do this job? Well, I think Director Blair, you know, what you saw within the Obama administration is you, th you saw two schools of thought on how to deal with the threat from radical jihadism. You saw the you know, the school that was led by Janet with Napolitano and Eric Holder, who said, you know, these are man-made disasters. Uh, these need to be dealt with from a law enforcement standpoint rather than a prevention standpoint. Director Dennis Blair, I believe, uh, was a stand-up guy. This was a guy who realized what the real threat was. Uh, he wanted to be forward-leaning. He was all about the process of preventing these attacks and that this shift or this rift within the Obama administration the president needed to make a call I give him credit for making a call and saying I'm going to embrace one strategy versus the other I don't give him credit for making the right call I I side with Dennis Blair that we needed an aggressive intelligence military operation to stop these kinds of threats I think the president has sided in saying I'm more about law enforcement than I am about prevention and now we will wait to see who the new nominee is to that position. In the meantime, I'd like to turn to South Korea and North Korea. South Korea now uh, has openly accused North Korea of torpedoing one of its ships. It says it will take the issue to the U.N. Security Council. Uh, Congressman Reyes, how do you see this uh, very, very tense relationship playing out, especially as it involves the U.S.? Well, it's a, it's a very dangerous uh, situation. And uh, uh, over the course of the last uh, three years or so, we have seen... Uh, a pretty erratic uh, uh, North Korea, uh, but we need to we need to understand that uh, if we're going to be successful in this very dangerous part of the world, we're going to have to uh, uh, insist on our allies who have been at the, for instance, the six party talks uh, at the table with us. Uh, uh, I, I think uh, we clearly, clearly have to take this uh, challenge seriously. And Congressman Hoekstra, if we try to move forward with uh, any kind of sanctions or, or formal reprimand to North Korea, it's pretty clear that China is not going to back us on that. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is now visiting with the Chinese. Are we in any position to negotiate with that country at this point? Well, I think North Korea has clearly pointed out that they're not going to negotiate. They always kind of you know, put the promise out there, we're going to negotiate, and then they pull out the rug from under us. The Bush administration made a dramatic mistake uh, at the end of 2008 when they took North Korea off of the list of state sponsors of terrorism. Uh, they had a partial deal with North Korea. North Korea pulled out of that deal at the end of 2008. The Obama administration now has the opportunity to lead and they need to lead on this issue. Unilaterally, the United States can put North Korea back on the list of state sponsors of terrorism. Uh, it is a symbolic step in many regards, but it sends the clear message that the United States will act unilaterally and hold North Korea accountable for the actions that it's going to take. It is the least that we can do. We can ostracize them from the rest of the world. We can put them with Cuba, Sudan, Iran. And, and Syria and put them on this very limited list of state sponsors of terrorism. America and Obama, the Obama administration need to lead. And while we're dealing with North Korea, obviously we've got the ongoing concerns and situation with Iran as well. Uh, talk of another round of sanctions coming. They don't seem to have worked well so far. Congressman Reyes, uh, what do you make of uh, this week us getting word that Brazil and Turkey are now making deals with Iran uh, that fly, fly in the face of what the U.S. is trying to accomplish when it comes to their nuclear program? 
Well, well, first I agree with Peter that we ought to uh, uh, rethink uh, and put North Korea in, in, in the proper category uh, as, as a nation of state-sponsored uh, terrorism. Uh, as it relates to Iran, uh, I think, uh, uh, again, there, there, is a, uh, there is a process in place. Uh, we're following it up. This is, uh, I think this is an indicator that uh, Secretary Clinton uh, is going to be very, very busy the next uh, uh, few months, but we need to hold our allies. Na uh, Turkey is a NATO ally of ours, uh, and we have to have uh, uh, serious one-on-one -on -one, uh, talks uh, as it pertains to uh, the so-called deal that they made with the Iranians. And, and Congressman Hoekstra, very quickly, want to give you the final word there. Yeah, no, I think we've got to be very disappointed that Turkey moved into a direction that uh, clearly undercut the United States as the United States position. We now to be very concerned about the, you know, the sanctions that are being proposed. They really are toothless. They're not going to have much of an impact. Iran's a big problem. We need to be more aggressive. Congressman Reyes, Congressman Hoekstra, we thank you both for your time today. Thank you. Great. Thank you.